Welcome to the Papare.com. You're on the breakdown. We're looking at last week's action from the Singer Schools Rugby League. We had four matches down for decision. We have two unbeaten teams left. Left. We'll talk about those in just a moment. But first, Sabir, we have uh, Trinity taking on St. Anthony's up in Candy and Trinity winning that one by 32 points to 23. They scored six tries and didn't convert five of them, which is a problem. So they got only 32 points. St. Anthony's 23 points, 18 of those coming from uh, Samuel Madhuanta. But for Trinity also, a hat-trick from Shalindra Alahaku. Nanuka Boya got a Dilushka Dange and Sanushka Bevikrama scoring tries. One of them converted by Lassen. Uh, Vijay Surya and Samuel Madhuanta, one try, two penalties, two conversions and a drop goal and another try by KB Alahakon. But uh, Trinity are scoring the tries but not really dominating on the scoreboard. Of course, uh, Shanaga, but uh, not dominating. But uh, we were talking about the number rates, uh, not enough uh, number rates that uh, we witnessed uh, who played really well in this uh, season. But uh, if you look at Shalin Alahakon, he really stepped up in this game, scoring hat-trick. If you look at the previous game against Isipatana, he was outstanding. And then again, in the Royal game, he made a few breaks, uh, although they lost the match uh, in the first leg of Bradby. Also, talking about that drop kick, Samuel Madon, it's almost a 53-meter drop kick. Uh, I have seen his coach, Nalaka Virakkuri, doing so many times, you probably you would have seen that. And I also saw Eranga Virakkuri once making against Zaira in 2004. It's a 60-meter drop, go drop goal. I was watching the ball all over the uh, all over till it sails the uprights uh, that's in uh, uh, King's Road grounds. But then again, this guy is the one lonely warrior for St. Anthony's. I think he should deserve a place uh, for the Sri Lankan, maybe Sri Lankan uh, under 20 as well. Because uh, he's the one who's, like we discussed, he's the one who's creating everything, he's the one who's making territorial kick. He gave a real hard time for Trinity on that game. Yeah, it's almost a one man show against uh, Trinity, and despite scoring six tries to two, they lost only, uh, or they won only by nine points. That shows how much uh, fight back St. Anthony's have given. And yes, I agree because uh, there haven't been a lot of flashy fly halves, uh, Sabir, this time around. And even uh, Randy Silva and Buminda Disanayaka haven't been the best players uh, for their teams, even though Ishipathana and St. Thomas is unbeaten. So Samuel Madhuanta will definitely get a look in there, I'm sure. Uh, next match uh, down for decision was St. Peter's taking on Wesley at Bumblebee and uh, Wesley College were in touch at halftime. It was 17 points to 10, but St. Peter's ultimately running out winners by 31 points to 22. Uh, two tries to Thikshana Eshan Disanayaka. Ravin Yapa also scored in two tries. Avishka Inpal uh, scored uh, his second try in two weeks, and Steve, uh, Steven Sivaraj uh, scored uh, three conversions. And uh, Dinuru Ranavira scoring two tries for Wesley and Avant Lee also uh, scoring one try, and his brother Avishka Lee. Uh, converting two of those tries and putting over a penalty. Man of the match, Shane Grusinger for St. Peter's. But uh, Wesley promising again, but failing to deliver and St. Peter's dominating. Absolutely. We saw Shane Grusinger. He's a, as a loose forward, he did really well Shana, in the breakdown, supporting the forwards. And also Yapa coming in and scoring two tries because he's a little bit inconsistent in the previous game. But this game, he showed that a senior player, how should he be? And also, I like the fact uh, how this Tikshan and this Anayaka played because I mentioned in my preview also it's now or never for him. But although he didn't make much impact, he did score two tries with courtesy of Sandesh Javikrama, who made few yards and created uh, his uh, running angles. And uh, also, Diaz Fernanda at the fullback. This combination is really working. It will be interesting clash in the next game when they uh, go to the uh, Lions Den and play against Trinity. And also, talking about uh, Wesley Shanaka, like once again, they have the momentum also once again. Uh, Avantali, yes, uh, Lee's brother, Avantali in the centre, he's running angles and he's made a try. But still, sometimes they're inconsistent and their momentum suddenly drift towards uh, something and uh, from their high motivation. Yeah, it's uh, really a momentum issue uh, for Wesley. It's a motivation thing. It's nothing to do with their skill or ability as players. They just need to believe in themselves that they can go forward and win matches. They've come so close to winning so many games this season and just not being able to get over the line. So that's purely a mental issue that needs to be addressed perhaps in the off-season because they've got quite a few of these players uh, staying on for next year. But a good win for St. Peter's and I think they really needed that win uh, before going up to Trinity because it was uh, a good side uh, which I think they expected a lot more from at the beginning of this year. Uh, but uh, moving on to the next game, uh, St. Thomas is taking on uh, Science College, the uh, second place. There's only two teams that had uh, remained unbeaten up to that point as well, taking on each other and that was an important match for St. Thomas was to make sure they went into the final weekend still unbeaten and uh, surprisingly a fairly easy win for the Thomians, 31 points to nil 
uh, Sabi Rashman Taherat with 9 points, 3 conversions and a penalty. Uh, Navin Henekan Kanange with 2 tries. Uh, Joshua Delisle with 1 try. Buminda Disanayaka 1 try. And Dion Daz uh, with uh, 1 conversion. So, uh, once again, St. Thomas is really drilling in their defence, making sure they shut out uh, all the runners that Science College had, like a dress rehearsal for AC Patana almost. Absolutely. And uh, talking about Science display, it's uh, not acceptable at all. On that day, they were out of clue what to do, especially when the ball is in hand. We even saw that Pondula De Silva, St. Thomas Skipper Shanaka, playing at hooker, he went 15 meters charging in to stop Madhuranga. So that shows the character. After you made few comments on Pondula, I think he really stood up as a leader and he's really heading this team for a real uh, good, uh, maybe a grand finale. So, uh, overall, we all know that St. Thomas is a complete package in terms of forwards and in terms of backs this season. I like the way Joshua Delisle played Shanaka. He also made a score, uh, but he was so good in the breakdowns. And also, uh, they are playing as a team. It's really gelled together. Navin Henakan Kanamge, highest try scorer so far with 11 tries. And also, he's the Pavare's most promising player award. He won the award as well. So, this team is look for the grand final. They beat the Isipatana in the sevens, but anything could happen this weekend. Yes, well, there's eight more players to contend with uh, this time from both teams. But uh, St. Thomas is really, as you said, playing like a complete team. They're playing like a unit. They don't have an obvious weakness that, uh, when you look at them, that you can glaringly see. A lot of the other teams have had that, Sabir, and St. Thomas's don't have that. Uh, so that's something that's in their favour as well. But you never know in these pressure games, Isipathana can come back. And let's move to uh, talk about that big game from the weekend, Isipathana versus Royal. It was uh, the top place team against their bitter rivals for the major Milroy uh, Fernando Trophy. This fixture having a lot of history, but nice to see it was played in the right spirit. Both teams really shaking hands at the end of the game and uh, making sure that there was none of that untoward stuff that we may have seen in previous years. That was a very good uh, sign, I thought, for the game. And in the end, Isipata running out 28 points to 14 winners after leading 14-7 at halftime. Ran Kothke once again with two tries, Ran into Padmasankar, the wing three quarter with one try and one penalty try, all four converted by Guy and Vikramaratna. And uh, Royal scored uh, through their left wing, Nikhil Gunavardhana and uh, Mahima Gamage also scoring tries. So probably the first time in uh, Royal's season that two of their backs have scored uh, tries and uh, only the, the tries coming only from the backs, Owen Aski with two conversions and Devin Gunaratna, the man of the match for outstanding defensive work on uh, Nikhil Gunadira, we thought in the commentary box, but uh, another really gutsy performance from uh, from Isi Patana to stay in that game because Royal were dominant right throughout. Absolutely, but everything turned from that line-out, Shanaka. They lost, I think, five line-outs. Uh, credits to their coaches, I think, Hendy Terence and Daniel Febraim. They were working so hard with that forward. If you see, not a single driving mall try, not a single forward have scored a try. That means they know the Royal strength and they have done their ho ho homework. Uh, I'm even slipping my words. Homework well, uh, so that says from the points table itself. Uh, and also the other thing is, like you said, one day Chamud Fernando the winner scores, and one day Padma Sankar scores. They had the luxury of that. Uh, Chamud Fernando also he got few opportunities, but he was undone. But his offload inside pass to uh, Samudran Kotke, he where he made the try, but it was a bit controversial whether he ground the ball or not. So. Royal were un undone on that day because uh, their defensive uh, structure was great, their defensive line was great. But if you also look at the Royal, uh, look at Mahima Gamage's try Shanaka. He can step, he can run, he has long legs, but I'm not sure why the ball was not seen quite often and probably one or two forwards combine him. Just like uh, England Haskell did for England and if you see David Pocock, uh, uh, Shanaka, not uh, Michael Hooper rather, he scored uh, two tries from the wing position and he received four balls. Something like that the Royal should have done, I think. Uh, yeah, I think the problem for Royal is that you, you play at the pace that you train, uh, Sabir. So I think Royal train at a very slow pace because there's so much uh, picking and going uh, that happens. So when the ball eventually comes to the backs, uh, I don't know whether you saw that particular incident, but there was a massive overlap. And Mahima Gamage was running almost at a jogging pace and uh, Nikhil Gunavardhana who had completely overshot him by about two meters and the pass went behind him. So you can see that the wingers are screaming for the ball but inside them it happens so slowly that you can't get them the ball in any threatening position. So that's something that Royal will have to look at when they play Science College uh, next weekend. But I thought Isipathana didn't have a lot of possession. They managed to spoil Royal's possession, but they didn't get a lot of good possession themselves. And when they did, they really made it count. When they turned the ball over, they're really dangerous. And uh, you've seen how the All Blacks can do that. They can turn the ball over and turn it into a score in 
10 seconds and that's exactly what Sipatana did for their winning try, the one that really created the gap between them. And uh, uh, Rankut Gay's uh, combination with his wingers, with Padma Sankar or with Chamut Panandra, the way he takes that inside ball, the way they keep the ball alive, the way they don't allow themselves to be run out into touch, that's the real focus of this uh, Isipatana side, uh, Sabir and Gaan Vikramaratna was outstanding once again. He knocked the ball on crucially twice, but I think he managed to knock yeah. the conversions over, eight more points uh, to that target. So I think um, he he will be feeling a little confident after that despite those two errors. Absolutely. He made some uh, showed his maturity, Shanak, after uh, dropping those two knock-ons and he still uh, put his head up. So that's a good performance, like I said. And also talking about the Isipatana forward, Shanak, the front row, Ekanaga, probably he's my man of the match, Ekanaga, how he played. We saw against St. Thomas's, uh, uh, sorry, in, uh, in the previous game against St. Peter's, I think, he was going to his contact a bit higher. As a result, he was turned over twice on that game. But now this game, if you see, is low centre of gravity and he making two or three yards, extra yards. So, that's also a plus point. Uh, what really uh, fascinated me about that performance from Ekanaika was the defence. Sabi, that front row just put their bodies on the line. They were outstanding defence. The entire front five, in fact, the entire pack for Isipatana were really outstanding in defence. And they're going to be tested against the Stomian pack because St. Thomas's attack a little wider from the breakdown. They're not as close to the breakdown as Royal are. So they'll need to shift themselves laterally a little bit as well. It'll be a tougher ask for uh, Ekanaika and his uh, colleagues this time around. But if the Sipatana third row, Veera Tunga, Veera Singha and Gunaratna can play really well against St. Thomas's, that's going to be the key for them winning or losing that game. Absolutely. So we'll wait and see for the grand finale. Of course, today it's happening at CRNFC Ground. Let's have a look at the points table now, Shanaka. Sipatana leading once again. Yes, they're still out in front by one and a half points. St. Thomas's have to beat them to win. Uh, so if the game is a draw, then perhaps Isipatana can still retain the title, Sabir. We'll have bonus points to talk about as well. But I don't think even if St. Thomas has managed to get their four-try bonus point that they can overhaul Isipatana. So St. Thomas has absolutely have to win. Isipatana can settle for the draw and still win the title. Science College to take on Royal uh, College next time. Then that will be uh, deciding that uh, match as well because it's one point between the two teams, 33 points to 32. So third place will be decided in that game as well. Uh, Trinity take on St. Peter's and that uh, again one and a half points. It might be enough if Trinity win big or St. Peter's win big that uh, St. Peter's might be able to uh, get across the line because it's just half a point in between those two. So if they win big and win by four tries and don't allow Trinity within uh, seven points of them, they might be able to scrape into uh, fifth place and Wesley uh, will uh, take on St. Anthony's. They will want to win big as well and St. Anthony's will know this is the match that they are capable of winning and Madhuanta, if he can pull the strings once again, you never know what can happen there, Wesley playing away from home as well. So lots of really interesting decisions uh, down to be uh, down to be decided this uh, particular Saturday. Sabir, it's going to be a hell of a weekend. It is going to be a hell of a weekend because uh, Isipatana taking on uh, St. Thomas's, that's at CNFC grounds, like I said, and it is live on www.thepuffery.com and also it's live on Dialogue TV channel number one. And also we are bringing you live coverage of uh, Science College taking on Royal College, that's at Havelock Park, Shanaka, and also we are bringing you live St. Peter's versus uh, Trinity College back in Palak Alley. So those are the three games uh, we are bringing you live for this weekend, which is the final weekend, and your prediction for the rest. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know, Sam, it's going to be really tough, but I think uh, if they can withstand the pressure, and they have done that before against Royal and Trinity, they've come back from losing positions. I think St. Thomas's may just share this because they're a better team overall. I think Kushan Idunil and uh, Sumuduran Kotge are the best centres that I have seen in maybe in about 15 years, uh, Sabir. But uh, these guys uh, alone, can they take on this Stomian team? I don't know. Their friends will help, but will they have enough quality? I don't think so. So my money at the moment is for St. Thomas's. Last uh, year's triple runners-up, don't you think they deserve to win this? Well, I think you deserve to win based on how you played this season, not last season, Sabir. So I think St. Thomas's have shown a marked improvement uh, in, uh, in uh, their performance this time around. So if their forwards can keep it together, if they can retain the ball, then I think St. Thomas's will have too much uh, power for this Isipatana side. It might happen like it did last year against Royal, where everybody expected 
his partner to put up a fight, but it didn't happen. So maybe uh, if St. Thomas plays smart, they can repeat that performance that Royal did uh, last weekend. And Science against Royal, I think Royal will learn from their mistakes against his partner. And I think uh, Science College may have just gone a step too far, Sabir. I think their season may already be over because uh, they are just coming up against sides that are battering them uh, physically. And even the heroics of the Madhuranga brothers and Dalit Laksara may not be enough against this royal side who will be smarting from this defeat against this Ipatana. And I think they will fix the issues that they have, very fixable issues. They will probably fix them uh, for next week. And uh, I think Trinity may have just too much for St. Peter's. I think they'll be relaxed. And if they can play their game, then they can win six tries against uh, against uh, St. Against Anthony's is no joke. Uh, so I think they have good attacking potential. I think Trinity may uh, win that game. And I'm backing uh, Wesley against St. Anthony's. Their forward back is pretty good. Right. So we'll wait and see for the, this weekend the action. And that's all we have for the breakdown segment 8 of the School's Rugby Division 1. And until next week, myself and Jonathan signing off with the public.